Welcome to an alternate Hue. I'm Hugh Anderson, and this is some of what caught my attention this week. Given the unrelenting news on the COVID front and the persistent smackdown on the economic front, it's pretty easy to feel bad. But don't tell that to Mr. Market. The stock market has a what me worry attitude. As far as the financial world is concerned, everything is a-okay. The COVID shutdown was just a pothole in the road. Annoying, but no big deal. But it's always good to know whether you're predator or prey in life and in the financial markets. Regrettably, it appears we've only been in the eye of the storm the last several months. As COVID cases begin to rise with the economic reopening, the fallout would become more apparent. And as of this recording, both Texas and Florida are rolling back their reopenings. And that may spread to other states that are seeing spikes in COVID cases. What else could be holding the economy back despite COVID and other issues? Student loans are the second largest category of household debt right after mortgages. This amount of debt has major implications for access to credit, consumer spending, home ownership, and the savings rate. As of the end of May, 79 million student loans are in relief status, up from just 18 million in April. Did I say just 18 million? By the way, unemployment for the 18 to 24 year old cohort dropped back to only 25% in May. Did I say only 25%? This is a picture of the global economy. It's what global trade looks like in the recent history and currently. And it looks like many other economic indicators down. Depending on which analyst you talk to, the global economy back in the Great Recession didn't fall during that recession, or it was down maybe less than 1% for the first time in history. This year, global GDP is expected to fall a full 5%. As Matt Damon's character in Goodwill Hunting said, how do you like them apples? I certainly don't. A quaint approach in the investing in the stock market is to find profitable companies and buy them at the right price shows how over time the stock market generally follows company profit margins and when it doesn't it's not profits that run up to meet Mr. Market's expectations it's the market recognizing its error. A recent book by Amity Schley's The Great Society has a great quote by Daniel Patrick Moynihan the Bernie Sanders of the 60s. Quote boy were we wrong about a guaranteed income unquote. They discovered then that giving money away to people with no sweat invested didn't work. Period. Hard stop. End of story. But I refuse to end this video on a glum note. So yes, share. There is life after love, and there will be a booming economy after we get through this pain. How do I know? Because it's happened almost every time, especially in the United States. A simple example is the cost of spaceflight over time. Private paying passengers are scheduled to leave Earth's orbit within the next 12 months. The technology required to drive down costs in this industry are being employed in many industries and the opportunities for economic growth are limitless. We just have to maintain perspective and strive on. Thank you for listening. I look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks. Stay healthy, stay prosperous, stay optimistic. I'm Hugh Anderson and this is an alternate Hugh.